Hi guys and welcome to today's Graveyard Keeper tutorial on farming. Uh, this guide should help you get everything set up and it's going to be pretty thorough so in the comments below there will be timestamps if there are only particular things you're wondering about. Uh, this is going to be particularly for the kitchen garden but later on I am hoping to upload something for the orchard and vineyard so definitely stay tuned for that. Cool, let's just head straight into it. Firstly, let's talk about how to actually unlock your farm. So you'll find it just south of your house, it's called the kitchen garden and you're going to want to go up to the blueprint table there. That will have this little dialogue piece that will tell you to go and visit Horadric at the tavern because he's the owner of the farm. So he's in the village, you go in there and when you talk to him you're going to want to ask him about the garden. This is going to give you guys a little bit of dialogue and he's going to grant you permission to use the garden with a um, garden certificate. He's also going to talk a lot about talking to the merchant who in theory owns it. You don't actually have to do this, you can access the garden anyways. I'd personally recommend it though because this does move the merchant's plotline along. So you will find the merchant just south of the tavern on the day of gluttony which is that symbol there. And there is quite a bit of dialogue when you first start talking to him. But eventually you can ask him about the garden that he owns. Talk to him about the garden there. And he'll try to strike you a few different deals. At first he'll ask you if you want to trade gold coins. I personally wouldn't recommend this unless you're late game because it's just expensive. Um, and once you say no to that enough, he will strike you another deal, which is to trade some of your future crops with him and then he will grant you full ownership of the farm. As mentioned before, you don't actually need to do this, but I would re recommend it, sorry. Cool, once you've got that, let's head back up to the farm and then you're going to want to go to the blueprint table. Whilst you're there, just click claim property and it's all yours. Now you can use the farm as you please. Now on to everything that can be built on the farm. In the nature and farming technology tree, you're going to want to unlock improvement and decay to have all of these buildable items ready. So if you go to the empty garden bed, that will let you grow everything besides from lentils, which needs the garden bed with sticks. And once you've dug that up, that will give you the option to add either fertilizer or seeds and start planting. However, there's not too much point in planting anything yet because you're actually going to get less seeds than you planted, so you're going to have a deficit. So we're going to want to get started on our fertilizer. Let's head straight into the to create fertilizer, we're going to first need to unlock alchemy, which we'll do at the swamp with Clotho the Witch. So she can be found to the west of the graveyard, and to get there you're going to need to make at least one bridge. I'd also recommend building the bridge that goes from her house back to our place, it will save you a lot of time. So here are the materials you need. I highly, highly, highly recommend just getting everything ready beforehand because it will save you so much time. Um, this is the route you need to get to get to her, as you can see it's very like winding around about. But once you're on the inside, you can make a quick bridge to get back home. That's to be done from the left though, so you're going to have to go around the first time anyways. Now once you're in the swamp, try to find the witch's hut, and here you can talk to Clotho. By talking to her and getting that dialogue piece, you will be able to unlock the alchemy technology and also start advancing her plotline. So for the quality here, this is just sorry, for my stream because it's a bit easier than making it again. And here you can see we've unlocked alchemy. Now the next thing you want to do is head down to the church basement and here you will see some of the workstations we need. So the first one we need to craft is the alchemy workbench that you see here and then we also need the hand mixer. Now I'm just focusing on quality fertilizer one because I think that's all you need for, um, to be shown until you can figure out the rest by yourself and that's put together in the church workbench. Now when it comes to building materials for these workstations they're all pretty standard besides from advanced conical flasks. And I personally found it kind of difficult to figure out how to make them, so I thought I might as well just show you guys in case some of you have been wondering the same. So first we need to make glass, that can be found to the west of your house and then up the river you'll find a deposit of river sand, or river stone sorry. So once you get that, that and water is what you can make glass out of once you get back home. What was river sand, whoops. And yes, you're going to have to have the furnace too to actually make the advanced conical flask. So you start by making glass and then conical flask and use that. The technology you need is the glass blower too. And as mentioned before, I'm going to struggle a bit with finding it, but it was just there. Um, you have to have furnace too. All right, perfect. Now we can actually start making the fertilizer in itself. So as you can see, quality fertilizer one, the recipe is peat and growth enhancer. 
heat is created at the compost heap that you guys hopefully created and you get that by adding crop waste to them. There's those little bins on the left there. And then to make growth enhancer, we're gonna need ash and life solution. Ash is gotten by cremating corpses, as you can see I'm doing here. And then life solution is, you can make it from either brains or maggots. So brains from exhumating the bodies and then maggots are also from the compost heap. So let's get that. Awesome, now we've got our ashes ready. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your study table and study either the brains or the maggots and this will give you the opportunity to actually use them in your alchemy. So that needs to be done first if you can't seem to get this all going. Then head over to the hand mixer and add either your maggots or your brain. Brain will give you two life solution whilst maggots will only give you one, so it just kind of depends what you have on hand. They both work perfectly fine. And how you can see, now we've got that in our inventory. So let's head over to the alchemy workbench and here you can see the life solution and the ashes gives us some growth enhancer, which is the only thing next to Pete that we need to make this fertilizer. So there are two fertilizer technologies on this account. I've only unlocked one of them, which is where you can see there's only two here. Um, that's just kind of random. You guys can unlock the other one and then make whatever fertilizer you want. I feel like this is just a good starting point. Now with this fertilizer, you will now get more seeds than what you're using to grow the plants. And also you will have a certain degree of improvable crops, which I will go into later. So to buy seeds, you need to go and visit the farmer. If you know where the wheat farm is, which is between your house and the village, it's just the south of that. So when you talk to him, there's probably some dialogue first, and then you'll be able to unlock all these different tiers of seeds and crops you can buy. If they're not all unlocked, that just means you have to trade with him some more, and then they should open up for you. Tiers two and three will give you something called improvable crops, which are crops, if you see, they have like little quality marks on them. And uh, later on in the game, they're gonna be quite important for trading with the merchant. But as for now, you'll probably be fine just going with whatever. As you can see here, I'm just buying a whole bunch of them and then adding them to my inventory, which I'm just gonna check for you guys here. Perfect. Okay, so let's head back to our farm, dig this up and then use our new fertilizer. So you add the fertilizer first, done and then you add your seeds so lentils need to be grown on a stick otherwise everything else is fine just in a normal bed there is one unique crop though that you can't get the seeds from the farmer and that is for the plant called hemp to get those you're going to need to go east of the village kind of towards the lighthouse and there you'll see the character dick who lives next to a barrel when you talk to him oh doesn't look like i can find him there you go when you talk to him, that will give you the option to buy a whole bunch of different um, hemp things. So you can either buy seeds, you can buy seed oil, rope, or just the plant in and of itself. So yes, that is how you get hemp seeds for your farm as well. Okay guys, that is it for today's tutorial. I hope this helped you get your farm started and kind of gave you like the bases to know everything you need to know. So uh, if you enjoyed it, if it helped you, maybe comment, subscribe, and also ideally check me out on Twitch. I stream Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So that would be awesome. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.